a full-blown eruption of Yellowstone could potentially dump a suffocating layer of volcanic ash that is at least 10 feet deep on almost the entire country and it would instantly render about two-thirds of the nation completely unlivable. So yes, when Yellowstone starts rumbling, there is a reason to pay attention and right now Yellowstone is starting to rumble in ways that are unprecedented. Now that doesn't mean that an eruption is imminent, but without a doubt, what is currently taking place is more than just a little bit of alarming. Now let's start with what happened last Saturday. An eruption of Ear Springs sent plumes of water up to 30 feet in the air and it was being reported that debris and rocks flew into the sky. Now quote, on Saturday, Ear Springs erupted plumes of water up to 30 feet in the air, endangering visitors as debris and rocks flew into the sky. The last known eruption on that scale occurred back in 1957, though several smaller eruptions were observed in 2004. Ear Springs is one of the hottest pools in Yellowstone National Park and contains water above the boiling point of 200 degrees. If you are not familiar with this particular hot spring at Yellowstone, you can find the basics on Wikipedia. When a super volcano that could ultimately kill billions of us starts flinging debris and rocks into the sky, that should have made front page headlines all over the planet, but it didn't. Now this was the very first time since 2004 that Air Springs has erupted and it was only the fourth eruption in the last 60 years. But that wasn't the end of the activity at Yellowstone. On Monday, Steamboat Geyser erupted for an hour and 15 minutes. The spectacular stream of water and steam can reach heights of 300 feet, making it the tallest of any active geyser in the world. The most recent eruption was the geyser's 19th in 2018, making this Steamboat's most active calendar year since 1982 and exciting visitors and scientists all over the world. From September 2014 to March 2018, Steamboat Geyser was completely dormant, but now it has suddenly sprung to life and has erupted a total of 19 times since March 15th. Then on Tuesday, it was being reported that the ground was rising and falling by six inches every 10 minutes and spouts of water shot from the ground as a new geyser formed. On Tuesday, spouts of water shot from the ground west of Pump Geyser and north of Sponge Geyser, also ejecting large amounts of hot steam. The new feature, which is eight foot in diameter, continues to show increased signs of activity after geologists observed the ground rising and falling by six inches every 10 minutes. Geologists have also observed new geysering and boiling at Hot Springs Doublet Pool and north of that as well located in the upper geyser basin. So we have multiple new geysers forming. Steamboat Geyser has sprung to life after being dormant for three years and Ear Spring is flinging debris and rocks into the air. And the experts are telling us there is no reason for concern at all. Now scientists assure us that Yellowstone will erupt again one day and if it happens during our lifetime, most of us living in the United States will end up dead. Now you see, the truth is that a full-blown eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would not just devastate the Northwest, it would truly be a global catastrophe that could ultimately kill billions of people. Such a disaster would probably come with little or no warning, and the same is true with most other natural disasters. That is why it's so important for all of us to be prepared in advance for any disaster that could occur. Now, hopefully nothing like this will ever happen while any of us are alive, but without a doubt, we are living at a time when our planet is becoming increasingly unstable. In one recent 30-day period, the number of global earthquakes was more than 50% above normal. Now, major changes appear to be happening to our planet, and that could mean that all of our lives are about to change in a major way. Now, what do you think? Is all this new activity at Yellowstone a sign that something massive is about to happen there? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.